What is up motorcycle maniacs? CC Rider back on the bike. Third day in a row. Made a video yesterday and the joys of technology. I lost, I don't know how, much, how many segments I lost, but enough that rendered the video useless. So I'm gonna give it another shot. Anyway, uh, yesterday's video, I was just uh, rambling on about a whole lot of nothing like I normally do. So I'll try to remember some of the stuff I was saying yesterday. Some of it was, uh, if you watch my last video, there was a, a gentleman that was in a wheelchair and uh, he gave me like two throttle fists wanting me to, uh, I don't know, ride a wheelie, get on it, whatever he wanted, but uh, I'm not much of a wheelie rider, so I just hit the gas and gave him the head nod and uh, after I'd uploaded that video and replayed it and uh, it started making me think you know you got people out there that are you know confined to wheelchairs or have uh, disabilities that limit them on what they can do in life enjoy the blessings that you've been given how fortunate I am to to be able to be in the situation I'm in where I can you know enjoy a motorcycle and get out and ride uh, you know all the other things that um, picking up metal detecting you know there's a lot of things that a lot of people can enjoy and that's what made me think about it, that guy because you know he's in a wheelchair don't know if that's something he's dealt with his entire life or uh, he was in an accident or whatever the case may be but obviously he seemed to enjoy motorcycles who knows if he'd ever had the chance to ride a motorcycle or if he did like riding motorcycles and now he's unable uh, unable to I just tell everybody watching man take it take advantage of what you can do and uh, life's too short you know I've said it in other videos uh, when I'm talking to people who never owned a motorcycle uh, but are you know thinking about making that jump you know if it's something you want to do obviously everything you do in life has a uh, risk and consequences but if it's something that you really do want to do and you have the means to do it do it uh, that goes with anything you know uh, just get out and uh, and make the most out of the time you have uh, in this life and I was saying in that video that I used to uh, be more of a couch potato I did I was just basically go to work come home and repeat and then on my days off do the same thing watch a lot of TV and those kind of things and not I wasn't very productive I wasn't doing a whole lot I think there's several reasons why I'm doing that now one of the biggest ones is my girlfriend that I have now super awesome I've been with her uh, basically a year and a half now so awesome girlfriend that's all I can say about her uh, really enjoy my time with her and she's more of a get up and do things I told myself you know that I could stick in the same rut that I've been in or I can get my fat butt up and go out and take advantage of life I'm not gonna give her all the credit because some credit goes to this YouTube channel uh, but there again I have to give credit back to her because she really was supporting the idea of me making a YouTube channel and I think that was the push I needed because I've been thinking about this for I don't know probably a couple of years and she helped push me over that uh, obstacle of actually doing it she gave me the support the YouTube channel I think was kind of the, the start of the lighting the fire so uh, I have to give credit to y'all on that too because uh, watching the channel grow with people subscribing uh, that obviously keeps the fire lit for me to keep it going out and making videos especially dealing with uh, the issues of technology and you know it's been real easy to just say you know what I'm not gonna go make another video today I made one yesterday it screwed up to hell with it but you know what I'm like hey I got people that 
I'm, not, I'm obviously not a big channel or nothing like that. Uh, I'm up to 75 subscribers and that's awesome. Uh, I'll probably uh, kick and scream like a little girl all excited uh, when I hit 100. That'll be awesome. Uh, so, you know, seeing those numbers click, uh, the views, people watching the comments, all those things y'all are providing me you're providing that fuel for the fire to keep making videos and and like I said that's kind of led to these other things I've been getting into and trust me I haven't even stopped I'm thinking about other things um, along with the metal detecting uh, I started thinking about uh, getting a kayak now uh, I haven't been fishing in years and years and years um, and I figure I can get a kayak and that would uh, I could actually get back into fishing a little bit and also get into places to metal detect, you know, uh, rivers, lakes, stuff like that. And you know, you can get into a kayak fairly cheap. I'm not looking for anything fancy, but just, you know, to get out and, and uh, take advantage of life again, you know, I mean, the kayak I'm looking at is 60 pounds. I can pick it up, put it in the bed of my truck, strap it down, go to the lake go to the river whatever and enjoy it so that's something I'm I've been checking out reviews on that I don't know if when or if that will even take place but it is something I'm looking into like I said I'm I'm getting a lot of things going and a lot of different hobbies and I'm spending so much time doing other things I don't even have time to watch all the shows I DVR now uh, I still try to make time to catch up on my TV because I do enjoy TV. I also feel very blessed that I'm in a really great relation, able to do things with her and we can enjoy together like the furniture thing. Oh man, that sewer plant, guys. Y'all do not even know the pain that I am in right now. That is probably the worst it's ever been. Wow. Ugh. But anyway, I'm, I'm just in a really good spot in my life with the, the relationship and we're having a really good time doing things together. I'm not really one to preach on that, but like I said, I am taking advantage of, of life more now. And that's kind of leads me back to where I started this topic was, you know, that guy in the wheelchair really made me think of the blessing I, the blessings I have and uh, all the things that I'm fortunate enough to be able to enjoy. Like I said, if you're sitting there watching YouTube, uh, obviously carve out some, I still watch a lot of YouTube videos. I'll probably watch more YouTube than I do TV now. So definitely keep some YouTube time in there to catch up with CC Rider and what's going on in the, in the world of the motorcycle and everything else. Um, but get out and do some things and check it out and see what you can find that you enjoy. If you, it's just like me, you know, some of the stuff I've wanted, like the metal detector, I've wanted one forever. Just, oh yeah, I'll get one one day. You know, a YouTube channel was the one that pushed me over the edge on that. I've talked about that. You know, YouTube is a really cool platform, I'm finding out. You know, you, you get to meet some people through these comments that seem to be really cool. They're into the same things you are. Just some real cool stuff, man, that you can find on YouTube that can kind of get the fire lit in you. Use that to, you know, kind of watch some videos and you can kind of see you know like motorcycle riding you know watch moto vloggers and maybe that'll say hey i want to get a bike and do that uh metal detecting you know whatever it is you know knitting you know <laughs> whatever you you have an interest for you can find a video and a channel on youtube and you can kind of see through their eyes and it'll help you decide if it's something you want to try to venture into uh, you can get into a lot of cheap hobbies. Unfortunately, the ones I want to get into normally cost a little bit of money. Uh, but that goes back to that point. You live one time. The stuff I buy, you know, like this motorcycle, if I wanted to or needed to, I can sell the bike and not get hurt too bad. Same with like a kayak, same with the metal detector. You can, if you buy things like that, you can resell them and you'll take a little bit of hit. But the way I look at it is that was the rental fee or the uh, enjoyment fee out of out of that purchase. So, you know, you got to get out and take advantage of the things out there. And if you like being a couch potato, 
I'm not going to fault you for that because I've enjoyed that too. But I'm just saying you might want to try it because I am having a really great time right now with all the things that uh, I'm uh, branching off into and learning about. And and also it keeps your mind mind sharp, I think. You know, the you, when you get into something that you don't know anything about and it forces you to get the old mind working and uh, learning stuff. So motorcycle riding, obviously that's pretty much what this channel is about. Uh, so you can definitely link it back to that. Obviously it's a bigger uh, situation to uh, get into with the uh, price point of a motorcycle motorcycle gear and all that stuff so it's a pretty pricey hobby to jump into but if it's something that you've been wanting to do and that's what brought you to this channel or any other motor vlog channel hey save up whatever you got to do buy something used uh, that's very inexpensive so you're not in it for a lot of money I will always say for the first bike you probably want to buy used and see, see where it takes you. And like I said, hopefully you'll enjoy it. And hopefully you will uh, give the Indian Scout Bobber a try. Because uh, I said it in that one video. I still think it would be a great first bike. And if you want something a little smaller, I never rode the Indian Scout 60. But give it a shot. Uh, I think it's pretty much the same platform as the Scouts. It's just a smaller motor. But anyway, y'all, just... Uh, my point in this is uh, take advantage of life, all the blessings that you have. And some people might be watching this and say, you know, hey, I struggle every day. I don't have a whole lot of blessings, but trust me, you can always find blessings in your life, whether it be, you know, you're able bodied and you can get out and do things or, you know, you've got a good job. You can always find some kind of silver lining. I'm not going to say everybody's life's perfect and everybody's life has no complaints i have complaints about mine everybody's going to have complaints it is what you make it and work at it and make it better whether that's hobbies whether that's uh putting yourself out there and uh, getting a different job that pays better or does this or that thanks for watching like and subscribe and watch other videos